Hey guys, what's up? Welcome to Apex. Thanks for tuning in. We have seen loads of new features on One UI 3.0. There has been a lot of improvements. There has been a lot of enhanced features which has been added to your phone with this upgrade. And I have already shared almost all these features in my previous videos. In today's video, I particularly wanted to discuss about all those enhancements or new features added to Samsung keyboard on this first beta. And I also wanted to mention about a couple of new features which are not yet been made available in this beta, particularly on Galaxy Note 10 Plus. So let's dive right into it. The first new feature is easy copy and paste. Whenever you copy a particular content, for example, let's take it as a sentence or a word from a web page, and when you try to paste it on a message, when you open the keyboard, now you will be able to see that copied content right on top of the keyboard, which can be pasted just by pressing on that. Earlier, we had to press and hold that particular area in the message box or wherever you wanted to paste it and wait for the paste option to appear. Now with just one click, you will be able to paste the content wherever you want. This is definitely useful and believe me, we are going to use this feature very frequently. The second important improvement or the change is reorganized keyboard settings, which makes it easier to access frequently used settings. As you can see here on One UI 2.5, we have different settings grouped together under different sections. Whereas on One UI 3.0 beta, all the settings are separately mentioned so that you can easily access any particular setting you want. This definitely makes sense. The third improvement is with regard to the keyboard layout. Now it offers a larger space bar when entering web and email addresses. Which means whenever you are entering a website or something on a browser, you will get a bigger space bar. You can see the difference between the space bars on One UI 2.5 and One UI 3.0 running on Galaxy Note 10 Plus. All right, now let me tell you the feature which has not yet arrived on this keyboard on Galaxy Note 10 Plus. I still don't see the integrated YouTube option on the keyboard with this update, which was actually made available on One UI 2.5 itself. As you can see here, we've got Galaxy Note 9 here with One UI 2.5, which has this integrated YouTube icon on the keyboard. It's surprising we still don't have it on Note 10 Plus. I'm just hoping to receive this feature on the next beta at least. So whenever Samsung releases the second beta for Galaxy Note 10 Plus, I will check it out and will let you know guys whether it has been made available or not. So stay tuned for that and make sure you hit the subscribe button to stay updated and leave a like for this video if you find this useful. That's all I wanted to share in this video. I will see you in the next one. You guys take care and stay safe. Cheers. Bye-bye.